In today's video, I'm going to show you how I achieved this beautiful eyeshadow look that I'm wearing. I'm completely obsessed with the way that my makeup turned out today. Like, honestly, I did that. Now, for this look, I did use this ColourPop Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I have no idea how you pronounce this, and I even going to try because I'm going to butcher it. But the packaging is so beautiful. Now, the inside, this is what it looks like. So gorgeous. But I also used their ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Now this is the set that I actually got at Ulta. It was on sale. Normally it's like around 32, I believe, but I purchased it for 27. I saved a few coins, okay? But if you have these items, take them out. If you don't, that's okay. We will work with what you have. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Ashley. I upload beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 12 p.m. So if you're into that content, consider subscribing and let's get into today's video. I already went ahead and I carved underneath my brows and to do so I used this e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. I love this stuff. This is in light beige and then for my primers I used the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in Eden and then I used the P. Louise base pro and this is in the shade rumor 02. With this Morphe JH 35 brush I'm going to grab this color here called Obsession and I'm going to apply this on the crease so I'm just going to be going back and forth. And I want to go ahead and just focus this on the crease. I don't want to bring this color up too high and I don't want to bring it outward like I normally do. So again, just back and forth on the crease, kind of creating somewhat of like a U, but like a opposite U. A, is that how you say opposite U? A, a under U. Oh wow, I can never speak. This is nothing new. But I... You guys, my birthday is coming up, like, in a week and a half, I believe. And I'm just thinking about, like, I can't believe I'm going to be turning... Should I even say it out loud? I'm going to be turning 27. Like, it doesn't even feel like it. I, I swear to you, when people say, oh, like, when I was 21, I remember a lot of, like, older adults would be like, enjoy, you know, time flies from now on. I'll be like, girl, shh. No, it doesn't. I feel like I'm 21 still. Like, I feel like what happened in seven years, what the age is going on, but I, wow, I'm just kind of shook it, but I've been blessed at the same time that God has allowed me to, you know, reach that age, and, um, but with this pandemic, what am I supposed to do? Get what I said, como voy a celebrar? I find it very funny because I catch myself like this when I'm blending, because I don't know why I'm just used to like doing like that. And then I ask, oh my gosh, why does my back hurt? Yeah, because girl, you'd be acting all crazy. I wonder if you guys can see the way I sleep. <laughs> mm, it's not. That's why I'm having issues at such an early age. With this Morphe M433 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called No Drama. This color, we're going to slowly build it up. So I literally grabbed just a little bit. I know it looks like a lot, but it's from the residue that happened from the other eye. But just a little bit. And then I'm going to focus this on the outer part of the eye. Kind of creating a V-shape, but not really. I'm still trying to keep that like U formation. Because if I do V, it's going to look like to it's gonna look like a v we don't want it to look like a v we want it to be a little bit more oval like so i'm doing circular motions to build up this color and then i will be bringing it into the crease as well more towards the outer part of the crease i don't want to bring it all the way in because i don't want to like close the eye because if i were to bring this color in all the way over here it's gonna close my eye. So if you have like, you know, smaller eyes than me, when you put that, it's gonna make them even look smaller. If you want it to look bigger, then you'll go ahead and enhance it by adding like a nice little highlight in the eye, well, in the inner corner eye. So just be careful. I literally just told you guys about how I like, I'm all twisted and I'm still doing it, but I can't help it. Like, it's just a habit. And that's why everything is crooked in my body's crooked everything is just crooked it's fine it happens i'm a crooked person back with the gh35 brush whatever's left on it from that obsession color i'm just gonna go over the crease 
and blend this out a little bit just so that everything is nice and smooth and blended. But see how I'm just focusing it on the crease? I'm not trying to bring it out too, too much. But I just don't want to see any lines. With this Morphe JH33 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called Total Flirt. This color here we're going to use as a transition shade. So right above the crease, very light-handed, going in circular motions. And that way everything looks nice and smooth as well as blended. Very light-handed circular motions. This Morphe JH34 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called Crave. And this is going to be my brow bone highlight. So I'm just going to apply that right under the brow. And that way it's going to give a little bit of color. And that way it doesn't look like concealer and then eyeshadow. It kind of just helps blend and smooth everything out. As well as if you ever brought this color way too high, you can also use that to blend and diffuse it as well. Now I'm going to use this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is what this one looks like. It's called Drift. It is so gorgeous. Like just, just look at this. Look at this. So pretty. But the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, the best way to get the best pigment is using your fingers. I have a hard time using my fingers because obviously I have these claws. So it's going to be a little bit funny to see me how to work it, but we're going to make it work. So I'm using my ring finger and I'm just going to dab this right, like more towards the outer part of the eye, somewhat to the center. I don't want to bring this all the way to the lid because I don't want to darken it too much. But I just want to give a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of more color right there. See how difficult it is when I'm wearing freaking nails, but I will not go shorter. I will struggle, but just dab it on. I grabbed a little bit more of that no drama color just to help blend the super shock color. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. He's being a little bit feisty. I don't know who he's trying to fight right now, but that way it just blends nicely and there's no harsh line. These two colors together is so cute. Like if I put that super shot color all over the lid, whew, so gorgeous. But we're not doing that today. But maybe tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. Now I'm going to use another super shot color. And this here is so beautiful. It is called Birthday Treats. It is so cute. And again, I'm going to be using my fingers. So I'm going to use my index finger this time around so you just go in circular motions like this and this is what it looks like if you guys just want to see a swatch so beautiful but I'm just gonna use that and <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm really struggling right now but I'm gonna power through and I'm just gonna tap that on the lid but focusing more on the inner part I don't want to throw it all the way out it will be so much easier for you if you do not have nails, but if you do, you still got this. You can make it work. It's going to take you a minute, but you go going to make it work. This color is just so gorgeous. I love these Super Shock shadows because they're just so easy to work with and really pop any look that you're trying to to do normally I clean up the eyelid area when I apply my eyelid color but with these you don't even have to they already pop on their own so much and I feel like it blends even better when you don't have that like um clean canvas if that makes sense because I can't get 100% really in there I am going to be using a flat brush this is the double ended Urban Decay um, brush that you normally get in like one of those eyeshadow palettes that they sell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply right there. Kind of like on the tear duct to just blend everything. Now for eyeliner, I didn't want to apply black because I didn't want to intensify it that way. I kind of want to keep the same tone. So what I did is I'm using this Morphe M443 brush and I grabbed the color No Drama because we ain't having it. But then I'm going to spray it with this NYX Bear With Me um, spray. So I'm just going to give it a few sprays. And then I'm going to use that as eyeliner. So 
here we go. I'm just going to apply it as close to the lash line as possible. And being that this is eyeshadow that we're working with, you will have to go back and get a little bit more and somewhat build it up until you like the way that it looks. I don't want to make it too thick because I really want to make sure that the shimmer stands out. So just be mindful of that. But if that's not your tea, boo, then boil another kind. I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup and then I'll come back and finish the eyes. With this Morphe JH39 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called Thrillist. Again, with the NYX spray, I'm just going to spray the brush. That way we have the most pigment as possible. And I'm just going to go ahead and press that onto the tear duct and that way we have a nice little highlight. This is going to help open up the eye. It's optional, you don't have to, but I personally like to see a little shimmer, a little bam moment. So it's completely up to you. And now with the M508 brush, I grabbed a little bit of that no drama color. Every single time I say that, I just think about TikTok and I think about the, um, cause B, I'm a mother. No drama. If you know, I mean, if you don't watch TikTok, you're probably like, girl, you crazy. What are you talking about? But if you watch TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm just going to go ahead and put that right under the lash line. So as close as possible to kind of smoke it out a little bit, but not too smoked. I just want to make sure that they, you know, blend a little bit. That there's some drama. What well, we said, no drama. That way there isn't too much drama right under the eye. This takes a lot of uh, focus. So just putting it right there. I need you to tell me if I'm crazy or not, but the color no drama is right here, right? I feel like on the palette, at least in person right now, it kind of looks like a deep, deep, deep brown mixed with like burgundy. But then I feel like when I apply it on the eyes, it comes out way more purple than it does burgundy. I feel like at times it looks a little burgundy, but it looks more purple. Am I tripping or do you see what I see? Now with this Morphe JH40 brush, I grabbed a little bit of that Obsession color. And we're going to go ahead and very lightly smoke out the lower lash line. And that way there's... The same kind of transition from the top eye and the bottom eye. And that way as well, there's no harsh lines under the lash line. FYI, if you guys can hear my family in the background, I'm sorry. I can't hush them up. I mean, they live here. But I'm using this MAC eyeliner in Nude. This is going to work as my base. And I'm only going to apply it on the lower lash line. Because I'm going to put a different eyeliner right now. I'm going to use Max Black Eyeliner and I'm going to put that on the top waterline and that is going to help blend the lash line when we apply our falsies. I need to invest in like colorful pencil eyeliners because I would love to use like a pink right now but unfortunately I don't have one but I'm going to make it work. I have this Milani pink lip liner so I'm going to make that seem to work. <laughs> um, this is actually called 13 pretty pink. That's why I put the nude because this by itself wouldn't pop as much. So I'm going to go ahead and place that where I applied the MAC nude. Like it worked a little bit but not too much. You can kind of see it but I think it's because I put that that uh, nude liner in the bottom. I already curled my lashes so now I'm going to put some mascara. I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is in the color black. And I'm just going to focus on the top lashes and then I'm gonna put my falsies on and then I'll put it on my lower lashes so I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna put my falsies the falsies I'm gonna be using today are from um, Rose Glam Boutique and the style is saucy so let me go ahead and put those on put some lipstick and I'll show you the final look this is the final look I am completely obsessed with the way that this makeup look turned out like honestly I did that. It looks just so, so good. Honestly, if you guys don't have this palette already, if you're like into this kind of color story again, I definitely recommend you guys to get it. I got it at Ulta for sale. For sale. On sale. Normally, I think it was 18. I got it for 14, which again, 
it's a few dollars girl it all adds up but if you are wanting something that has a little bit more options but similar color story i do recommend the morphe 35 xo girl it's beautiful you will love it trust me and i think it's um only 27 dollars or something like that now these babies you need to go to ulta right now get in your car Get in your car and go to Ulta and go buy this. This is amazing. I love ColourPop's shadow, um, these shock shadows. It's just that I hate ordering online because most of the time when they come out with these bundles, they they run out like butter, girl. Like, they, they're quick with it. But these are just amazing. I remember when I first started makeup, like, I got these and I loved them so much. They're just very fragile. So, the packaging that they did for Christmas, like, the bundle... Sorry, ColourPop, but it sucked because a lot of them were not in the order. I already took out the little thing that it comes with, like the dividers. But a lot of them, even though they had a divider, they were like this. They looked like this, and there were a lot of them that were broken, so that's a lot of money wasted. I mean, you can still use them if they're broken, but I'm an anal person, and I do not want to buy something new that's broken. So just be very, very careful because these are extremely fragile. But I definitely recommend you to go get your hands on these. I hope this makeup tutorial inspired you to create. If it did, comment down below. Let me know will you be recreating this look or what other tutorials you would like me to film. Like I said, this palette reminds me a lot of the Morphe 35XO. I actually have three tutorials using that specific palette. So if you want to check those out, make sure to check out the iCard. I'll also put other videos that I think that you would like. If you can't reach the iCard, they will be down in the description box as well as all the makeup details of what I'm wearing on my face right now if you'd like to see more of my beauty fashion lifestyle videos then consider subscribing hit the bell button to get notified when i upload a new video hit that like button and let me know what you like and don't like you're more than welcome to follow me on instagram snapchat and tiktok i post little previews of what i'm filming and all the goody good stuff so again thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye